Breaking news interrupted every major network as NASA confirmed what many had feared was coming. The agency had just unveiled a series of new, never-before-seen images of the interstellar object known as 3i slash ATLAS. And according to those inside the control room, the revelations were far worse than anyone expected. At first glance, the images seemed almost too clear, too structured. 3i slash ATLAS, previously thought to be an icy interstellar comet, appeared in the latest data as something entirely different. Its edges were unnaturally smooth, its surface etched with perfect geometric indentations, patterns that no random cosmic process could ever produce. NASA's official press conference was brief, oddly evasive. We have received new high-resolution images from the James Webb Space Telescope, the spokesperson said carefully. We are still analyzing the data. But moments later, insiders began leaking portions of the classified footage. What they showed was enough to ignite every scientific and conspiratorial corner of the internet. The object wasn't rotating like a typical comet. It seemed to pivot, correcting its orientation with subtle but deliberate movements. NASA's internal tracking team flagged this immediately, suggesting the object might possess some kind of internal stabilization mechanism. But how could a fragment from deep space demonstrate control over its motion? The phenomenon wasn't entirely unprecedented. Years earlier, the world had watched in awe when Oumuamua, the first known interstellar visitor, behaved strangely, accelerating without propulsion. But this was different. The level of coordination, precision, and energy output detected around 3i slash ATLAS went beyond any natural explanation. Social media exploded overnight. Hashtags like hashtag alien vessel and hashtag NASA3, iLeak dominated every feed. Amateur astronomers Astronomers flooded online forums with screenshots enhancing the leaked frames. Many began pointing out patterns along the object's surface that seemed eerily familiar, symbols arranged in sequences that resembled ancient writing. One linguist from Oxford noticed something chilling. The markings bore striking resemblance to proto-cuneiform, the oldest known writing system from ancient Mesopotamia. The discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific community, especially given what had surfaced months earlier in the Iraqi desert, the tomb believed to belong to Gilgamesh himself. Inside that tomb, archaeologists had found genetic samples that didn't align with any known human lineage. When cross-referenced with preserved Sumerian tablets, strange numerical patterns appeared, identical to those now being traced along the hull of 3i slash ATLAS. Could there be a connection? Dr. Elaine Kurtz, a senior researcher at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, thought so. In an encrypted message sent to her colleagues, she wrote, The geometry of this object is not random. It's a message encoded in mathematics, one that mirrors the ratios found in ancient Sumerian constructs. This isn't just a rock, it's architecture. Hours later, her email server was locked, her access revoked. When journalists tried to reach her for comment, they discovered she had vanished without trace. Her colleagues remained silent. Meanwhile, the new images continued to reveal more impossible details. The object's surface shimmered in infrared, suggesting active energy emissions. Spectroscopic analysis indicated materials that didn't exist in any known asteroid composition, metallic alloys beyond Earth's technological capability. The web team noticed something even more disturbing. The object emitted faint rhythmic pulses, regular, repeating bursts of radiation. When converted to audio frequencies, the pattern resembled a heartbeat. Radio observatories across the globe began to record the same signal. When analyzed, the data followed a Fibonacci sequence, the mathematical code found in the structure of galaxies, seashells, and DNA itself. Scientists were dumbfounded. Nature rarely composes signals with such perfect mathematical order. At first, NASA denied any intentional origin. We believe it's a natural resonance caused by rotation, said their spokesperson. But behind closed doors, leaked meeting transcripts told a different story. Engineers at the Deep Space Network had detected brief fluctuations in the timing of the pulses, as though something were attempting to synchronize. Then came the trajectory update. The European Space Agency confirmed that 3i slash ATLAS had altered its course. It was no longer following a natural interstellar arc. It was now moving directly toward the solar ecliptic, the plane of the planets, and its velocity was decelerating. That single data point changed everything. Nothing unpowered slows down in interstellar space, not unless it's using some form of propulsion or being guided. The implications were terrifying. 
Government agencies worldwide held emergency meetings. Satellites reoriented to observe the anomaly. The Pentagon refused to comment, while Russian and Chinese observatories confirmed they were also tracking the same movement. All data aligned. 3i slash ATLAS was approaching at a speed and angle that could bring it within Earth's vicinity in less than six months. As panic spread, another leak surfaced, this time an internal NASA video call. In the footage, engineers shouted over distorted telemetry as images refreshed in real time. One line of audio cut through the chaos, its opening. The next frame showed a section of the object separating, a seam running across its surface like a massive door. The glow from within was unlike any reflection seen before a steady luminescence that grew stronger as if reacting to observation. NASA's official channels denied the footage immediately. Do not believe manipulated content circulating online, their statement read. But moments later, the original telemetry timestamp matched data visible on the Deep Space Network servers. The footage was genuine. By now, the world was on edge. Financial markets trembled, air traffic control centers began updating contingency plans, and a growing online movement insisted that humanity was witnessing the return of something described in Sumerian mythology, the Anunnaki, the gods who came from the stars. The parallels were undeniable. The object's geometry mirrored carvings on the stone tablets recovered from the so-called Tomb of Gilgamesh. Even the Fibonacci pulse matched the numerical codes inscribed on those artifacts. Could it be that this object was part of a forgotten technology, one tied to the earliest myths of human civilization? Religious leaders issued calls for calm, scientists demanded transparency. But NASA remained quiet for 72 hours. Then, suddenly, their website displayed a single update. Data under review, please stand by. Meanwhile, observatories began detecting something new. Tiny fragments separating from 3i slash ATLAS and moving in organized formations. They weren't debris, they were maneuvering. Each fragment emitted its own frequency, synchronized with the central object. Theorists suggested they were probes, micro-drones perhaps, or extensions of a larger system. Their flight patterns resembled swarm intelligence algorithms, the kind used in AI research on Earth. And just like that, the line between alien intelligence and machine blurred beyond recognition. Energy readings spiked globally. Radio noise filled the ionosphere, Across Europe and Asia, power grids flickered without clear cause. Some claimed the object's emissions were interacting with Earth's magnetic field. Then came the transmission. For hours, shortwave radios picked up fragments of a signal that wasn't supposed to exist. Linguists from multiple countries collaborated online to decode it. The first deciphered word translated chillingly to home. Dr. Kurtz's encrypted notes were leaked two days later by an anonymous source. They contained detailed comparisons between the three I slash ATLAS symbols and inscriptions from the ancient city of Uruk. The translation she proposed read, The seed returns when the cycle completes. As fear spread, NASA scheduled an emergency live briefing. Millions tuned in as the director stood before the cameras, visibly shaken. We have observed anomalous activity, he admitted. We are in contact with international partners to determine the nature of the event. Then the feed abruptly cut out. For several minutes, NASA's entire network went offline. When it returned, all data from the previous 48 hours was missing. Backup servers showed only blank directories labeled Classified Priority Red. Amateur astronomers kept tracking the object. They reported a sudden increase in brightness, a flash so intense it temporarily blinded several instruments. The light appeared to come from deep within the open structure. Something had activated. Military radar across multiple continents registered electromagnetic bursts consistent with controlled propulsion. 3i slash ATLAS was no longer drifting. It was accelerating toward the inner solar system. In a desperate attempt to calm the public, NASA released one final image captured by the James Webb Telescope. The picture showed the interior of the object, vast chambers arranged with impossible symmetry, each glowing with pulsing light. And at the very center, a dark sphere, perfectly smooth, surrounded by what looked like liquid metal. Analysis suggested the sphere was generating a magnetic field stronger than any natural phenomenon known. Theorists called it a containment core, possibly housing the object's power source or something alive. Then, as suddenly as it had brightened, the object went dark. Every instrument pointed at 3i slash ATLAS recorded a synchronized drop in signal, silence. 
For nearly two hours, nothing came through the deep space channels. At precisely 3.33 UTC, the heartbeat returned, stronger, louder, now aligned perfectly with Earth's Schumann resonance, the frequency of the planet itself. Whatever it was, it was now in sync with Earth. Global communications began to flicker, power surges hit multiple cities, air traffic systems malfunctioned briefly. At the same moment, satellite telemetry revealed that the object's smaller fragments had dispersed, forming a precise geometric alignment with Earth's orbit. Theorists argued this was no attack. It was preparation, a synchronization event, the completion of a cycle referenced in Mesopotamian prophecy, the return of the beings who once shaped mankind from the clay of the Earth. NASA's internal log for that night, later leaked, contained only one handwritten note from an unnamed technician. It's responding to us. The final confirmed observation came from the Webb telescope before it was ordered to power down its instruments. The object emitted a burst of energy equivalent to a solar flare, but concentrated, directional, and silent. For three seconds, telescopes across the world captured the same event, a blinding flash expanding outward like an awakening eye. Then all data ceased. Observatories reported system-wide blackouts. Every major satellite feed froze on the same frame, the object glowing like a newborn star, the transmission cut to black. In the aftermath, silence fell across every communication network. Rumors spread that world leaders were meeting in secret. Some claimed they'd received a message from within the object, one not meant for the public. Others said the event marked the reactivation of something buried long ago beneath the sands of ancient Sumer. And as dawn broke across the Earth, instruments detected faint, synchronized pulses coming from deep beneath the planet's crust, echoing the same rhythm as 3I-ATLAS above. Whatever this was, it wasn't over. It was only beginning. By dawn the following day, global systems were flickering again. Power grids stabilized, but faint electromagnetic oscillations persisted in the atmosphere, measurable, patterned, alive. Satellite images showed faint auroral rings forming near the equator, something no one had ever seen. In the NASA Situation Room, monitors were scrolling endless lines of unreadable code. The lines weren't system errors, they were being injected into the servers remotely from an untraceable source. The characters repeated the same sequence over and over, 7 to 21, to 3 to 1, to 0 to 1. No one knew what it meant. At the same moment, seismic instruments in the Middle East began to pulse. Teams rushed to the ancient excavation site in southern Iraq. The area that had once been quiet desert now hummed like a living thing. Under the ground, scanners picked up hollow chambers that hadn't been there a week ago, fresh geometry forming in the bedrock itself. Reporters weren't allowed within a hundred miles, but satellite footage leaked. Under infrared, the desert glowed with the same spectral signature that once radiated from 3I slash ATLAS. Scientists began arguing that the interstellar object wasn't an intruder, it was a catalyst. It had released something into the planet's atmosphere, something that was now awakening the Earth's oldest frequencies. Across continents, people reported hearing the same low hum. It wasn't sound through air, it was vibration through the ground, through concrete, through blood. Medical scanners recorded small electromagnetic surges inside human tissue. Brief flashes of alignment with the same 7-21-3-1-0-1 sequence. In Geneva, a physicist studying the pattern realized the numbers weren't random. They matched the positions of stars recorded on Sumerian tablets, a configuration that hadn't occurred in the sky for 26,000 years. Governments tried to suppress the panic. News anchors read from prepared scripts assuring the public that everything was under control. But in private, world leaders were meeting underground, trying to interpret transmissions still coming through the deep space network. Those transmissions weren't noise anymore. They were words, in multiple languages simultaneously. The first phrase that decoded cleanly translated to cycle complete, seed awakening. All around the world, people began to dream the same dream of a sky split by a golden light and cities made of glass beneath the sea. Psychologists couldn't explain the global synchronicity. Satellite imagery showed a faint geometric shimmer across the oceans, like energy forming beneath the waves. And then, without warning, Every seismograph on Earth registered a single pulse, sharp, clean, impossible. From the deepest point of the Earth's crust came a sound that matched the heartbeat of 3I-ATLAS, 
In Iraq, the excavation site erupted in light. Dust swirled, stones trembled, and a spiral pattern burned into the sand. From the center rose a structure made not of stone or metal, but something that looked like liquid light frozen in motion. The pulse reached orbit again. The web of particles that had replaced 3i slash ATLAS began to align, spinning around the planet like an invisible ring. And then, in every language known to humankind, the signal spoke one final phrase. We never left.